All right, today we're going to do section 6.7, solving quadratic equations. And looking here at number one, it says to identify the equation as linear, quadratic, or neither. And there's no equation giving, given. <clears throat> so we can't do that one. I don't know where the equation is. So let's start at number two. Solve the equation using the zero product rule. Express numbers in exact simplest form. Okay, the zero product rule says if you multiply two things together, A times B, and you get zero, <coughs> then either A is zero or B is zero. So if you can multiply two factors together and get zero. You can set the each individual factor to zero and solve. So our problem says x minus 4 times x minus 6 equals 0. So we can say either x minus 4 equals 0 or x minus 6 equals 0. So if we add 4 to both sides, we get x equals 4. If we add 6 to both sides, we get x equals 6. So the solution set is 4, 6. Number three, solve the equation using the zero product rule. The equation is 3x minus 2 times 3x plus 2 equals 0. So we're going to set both factors equal to 0. 3x minus 2 equals 0, or 3x plus 2 equals 0. Adding 2 to both sides, we get 3x equals 2. Then divide both sides by 3, and we see x equals 2 thirds. For the second equation, 3x plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from both sides. 3x equals negative 2. Dividing both sides by 3, x equals negative 2 thirds. So our solution set is 2 thirds, comma, negative 2 thirds. Number four, uh, question four, solve the equation using the zero product rule. x times 2x plus 9 equals zero. Even though you don't see the parentheses, x is actually in its own set of parentheses. So we can say x equals 0 or 2x plus 9 equals 0. This one's finished, the x equals 0. Solve for x on the other equation, subtract 9 from both sides. So 2x equals negative 9. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals negative 9 halves. So the solution set is 0, comma, negative 9 halves. All right, question 5, solve the equation. m squared minus 7m plus 12 equals 0. We have the quadratic uh, in standard form on the left, but now we need to factor it so we can use the zero product property. So I'm going to put 12 on the top negative 7 on the bottom. Since 12 is positive, they're both the same sign. They both have to be negative. So factors of 12, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. If they both have to be negative, negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7. So my factors are negative 3, negative 4. I shouldn't say factors. Those, those are my numbers. Now I can write my factors. I'm going to rewrite m squared minus 7m plus 12 equals 0. I can factor the left-hand side to m minus 3 times m minus 4. So that is equal to 0. Now I set both of my factors equal to 0. m minus 3 equals 0 or m minus 4 equals 0. Add 3 to both sides, m equals 3. Add 4 to both sides, m equals 4. 
So my solution set is 3 comma 4. Number 6. Solve the equation 0 equals 49m squared minus 81. I see 49m squared, that is the quantity 7m squared. And 81 is 9 squared. So I have the difference of two squares. That will factor. Let me write the equation down. 0 equals 49m squared minus 81. So I have 0 equals 7m minus 9 times 7m plus 9. If I set the two factors equal to 0, 7m minus 9 equals 0, or 7m plus 9 equals 0. The first equation, add 9 to both sides, 7m equals 9. Divide by 7 on both sides, m equals 9 sevenths. For the second equation, subtract 9 from both sides, 7m equals negative 9. Divide by 7 on both sides, m equals negative 9 sevenths. So my solution set is 9 sevenths comma negative 9 sevenths. Question 7, solve the equation 0 equals 5m squared plus 20m plus 20. Now on the right hand side, I see that it's a GCF. I can pull out a 5 from all of them. So if I rewrite my equation, 0 equals 5m squared plus 20m plus 20, and I factor out a 5 on the right-hand side, that's going to be a 1. 5 goes into 20 four times, 5 goes into 20 four times. So I'm going to have m squared plus 4m plus 4. Now I need to factor that trinomial. How do I factor this? 4 is going to be up top, and 4 will be down below. So factors of 4, 1 and 4, 2 and 2. The top 4 is positive, so they're the same sign. The bottom 4 is positive, so that means they're both positive. 2 plus 2 gives me 4. So the numbers I'm going to use are 2 and 2. So I get 0 equals 5, m plus 2, m plus 2. Now if I use the zero product property, I really have three factors there. So I'm going to set 5 equal to 0, or m plus 2 equal to 0, or m plus 2 equal to 0. 5 equals 0 makes no sense. That's, we don't get a solution with that. m plus 2 equals 0. If I subtract 2 from both sides, m equals negative 2. And that's actually what's called a double root, because if I solve the other equation, I get m equals negative 2 as well. We only need to say it one time. So the solution set is just negative 2. Number 8, solve the equation 3m cubed minus 5m squared minus 12m equals 0. So rewriting the equation 3m cubed minus 5m squared minus 12m equals 0. I see that I have a GCF, so I can pull an m out. I would be left with 3m squared minus 5m minus 12. Now I need to go factor the trinomial. So on the top number is negative 12. The bottom number is negative 5. Since 12 is negative, the signs are going to be opposite. One's going to be a negative, one's going to be a positive. So, oh, sorry about that. That is not the number 12 that goes up there. A is not 1. The number is 3 times negative 12, which is negative 36. Sorry about that. Just kidding. Okay, factors of 36. 1 and 36. 2 and 18. 3 and 12, 
4 and 9, 6 and 6. Now we want the signs to be opposite, and we want the bigger number to be negative, so we, when we add them up, we get a negative number. I see that positive 4 plus negative 9 gives me negative 5. So the numbers are going to be negative 9 and positive 4. All right, here in the parentheses for the trinomial, I'm going to rewrite 3m squared plus 4m minus 9m minus 12. So I can factor by grouping. I'm going to pull out an m, and I have 3m plus 4. I'm going to pull out a negative 3, so I have 3m plus 4. So my factors will be 3m plus 4 times m minus 3. Don't forget I have to set that equal to 0, and I also had the GCF of m out front. So this equation, 3m cubed minus 5m squared minus 12m equals 0, factors to m times 3m plus 4 times m minus 3 equals 0. Now I need to set each of those three factors equal to 0. m equals 0, or 3m plus 4 equals 0, or m minus 3 equals 0. This one's finished. For the second one, I need to subtract 4 from both sides. 3m equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 3. m equals negative 4 thirds. For the last factor, I need to add 3 to both sides, and I get m equals 3. So my solution set is 0, negative 4 thirds, 3. Number 9, solve the equation w times 2w plus 9 times w minus 2 equals 0. I'm just going to set all three factors equal to 0. It's already factored. w equals 0 or 2w plus 9 equals 0 or w minus 2 equals 0. So I get 0. For the 2w plus 9 equals 0, subtract 9 from both sides. 2w equals negative 9. Divide by 2 on both sides. And w equals negative 9 halves. One more to go. w minus 2 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides. I get w equals 2. Number 10. Solve the equation y cubed minus 16y equals 0. I have a GCF. I can pull out a y. y squared minus 16. Now, in the parentheses, y squared minus 16, that's a difference of squares. That's going to factor to y minus 4 times y plus 4. Now, I have three factors I need to set equal to 0 y equals 0, or y minus 4 equals 0, or y plus 4 equals 0. y equals 0 is already solved, so solution set is going to be 0, comma. Solving y minus 4 equals 0, add 4 to both sides, y equals 4. y plus 4 equals 0, subtract 4 from both sides y equals negative 4. So my solution set is 0, 4, and negative 4. Number 11, solve the equation. 5z squared minus 40z equals 0. 5z squared minus 40z equals 0. There's a GCF. I can pull out a 5z from both terms. I'm left with z minus 8. That's factored. So I have 5z equals 0, or z minus 8 equals 0. For 5z equals 0, divide both sides by 5, and I get z equals 0. For z minus 8 equals 0, add 8 to both sides. 
I get z equals 8. My solution set is 0 and 8. Number 12, solve the equation 5q times q minus 5 equals negative 20. Now, I notice that the left-hand side is factored. But when we have the left-hand side factored, the right-hand side needs to say 0. So we've got to keep, we've got a lot of work to do on this one is what I'm trying to say. 5q, q minus 5, negative 20. All right, I'm going to distribute the left-hand side and get 5q squared minus 25q equals negative 20. Then I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So I'm trying to factor 5q squared minus 25q plus 20 equals 0. <clears throat> That's a quadratic equation. It's in standard form and it's equal to zero. I need to factor the left-hand side. I can pull out a GCF of five. I'm left with Q squared minus five Q plus four. And now to factor that trinomial, here's my X, the number up top is gonna to be four. It's positive, the signs are gonna be the same. The number down below is negative five. Since it's negative, both of these numbers have to be negative. Factors of 4, 1 and 4, 2 and 2. Both numbers need to be negative. Negative 1 plus negative 4 is negative 5. So my numbers are negative 1 and negative 4. So this trinomial will factor to Q minus 1 times Q minus 4. Don't forget the 5 out front and don't forget the equal 0. Okay, I'm going to kind of go up just a little bit so I don't go down too far. I can write 5 equals 0, or Q minus 1 equals 0, or ah, 5 equals 0, or Q minus 1 equals 0, or Q minus 4 equals 0. 5 equals 0 doesn't make any sense. Q minus 1 equals 0, add 1 to both sides, Q equals 1. Q minus 4 equals 0, add 4 to both sides, Q equals 4. So my solution set is 1 comma 4. Number 13, solve the equation 9 times the quantity d squared plus 2d equals 8d squared minus 81. Now I notice that there's a d squared in here, so this is a quadratic equation. I need to get that in uh, standard form. So first thing I'm gonna do is distribute. I have 9d squared plus 18d equals 8d squared minus 81. Now I need to get this in standard form. Subtract 8d squared from both sides. So I have d squared plus 18d equals negative 81. Add 81 to both sides. I have d squared plus 18d plus 81 equals zero. I recognize this as d plus nine quantity squared. If you did not recognize that, you could go do your X. 81's up top, 18's down below. They're both going to be positive. 81, um, the ones that I need are obviously 9 and 9, because 9 plus 9 is 18. So that's where I got D plus 9 times D plus 9. Okay, I need to set D plus 9 equal to 0. Subtract 9 from both sides. I get D equals negative nine. You'll notice that if you did the other one, D plus nine equals zero, you would get D equals negative nine again. That's what's called a double root. You only need to list it in the solution set one time. Number 14, solve the equation. 2K times quantity K minus three minus K equals 2K squared plus two. 
this is quadratic equation. We need to get it in standard form. When I distribute, I get 2k squared minus 6k minus k equals 2k squared plus 2. If I subtract 2k squared from both sides, I get negative 6k minus k equals 2. Combining like terms, negative 6k minus k is negative 7k equals 2. This turned out to be just a linear equation. Dividing both sides by negative 7, I get k equals negative 2 sevenths. Question 15, last question. Solve the equation x plus 4 times x plus 5 equals 2. I like that it's factored. But guess what? That doesn't equal zero. So factoring doesn't do us any good. We need to FOIL and get it in standard form. So x plus 4 times x plus 5 equals 2. If I go FOIL, remember doing that? I'm going to have x squared plus 5x plus 4x plus 20 equals 2. Now I can subtract 2 from both sides and get it equal to 0. x squared plus 5x plus 4x plus 18 equals 0. Collecting like terms, I have x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. Okay, 18 goes up top, 9 goes down below. They're both going to be positive. Factors of 18, 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, that's it. If I do plus 3, plus 6, I get 9, so my numbers are 3 and 6. This factors to x plus 3 times x plus 6 equals 0. Now using the zero product property, x plus 3 equals 0 or x plus 6 equals 0. For x plus 3 equals 0, subtract 3 from both sides. I get x equals negative 3. For x plus 6 equals 0, subtract 6 from both sides. I get x equals negative 6. My solution set is negative 3 comma negative 6. Now, if you have a hard time keeping up with me as fast as I go, you know that you can pause it and try to work on the problems and then push play and see if you worked correctly.